I'm a car photographer because it's what I love to do, and uh, life's too short to do anything but what you want to do. I love cars for so many reasons. The aesthetic beauty, there's the mechanical dimension. It's a form of art. It's a highly complicated mechanical kind of a sculpture. My name is uh, Richard, I'm a car photographer. And it's 2.30 a.m. here in L.A. and we're about to uh, head out, a group of us, out to the desert for sunrise. Today's going to be really special. I've been planning this for a long time. We're going to photograph a really unique car. In the past I've worked with some pretty amazing cars, but this one is a really special car. It's an iconic, legendary car. And there are very few of them, I think 10. To be given the opportunity to work with this car is hard for me to keep my feet on the ground while we're doing this kind of work. So we've just got this beautiful Ford GT40 Mark IV off the truck and we're uh, wheeling it into position, getting ready for a beautiful sunrise. You can see in the background, things are looking pretty good. Can we cut the wheel hard down to the right and just push it back a little so we get like a quarter angle at the car? That's good right there, guys. It's 20 past five in the morning, and uh, we're pretty close to ready here. This car's in position and looking as good as it ever has. This is gonna be a very natural type of a scene. I mean, the beauty of a situation like this, the hard work of this kind of production is coming to this place at this time of day and bringing this vehicle and just creating a really magic moment. So this is all just about watching the sun come up and seeing what it does, and I don't think it gets more pure than this. It's just this raw environment and this really raw car. And it's very simple, but it doesn't take much beyond that, you know. There it is. And we're off. I can safely say we've got that. What I'd like to do now is try to put one of these zoom lenses on. Got it. Got it. This is the newest addition to Phase's lineup. It's a uh, 40 to 80 millimeter zoom lens, which I've been told matches or exceeds the quality of some of the prime lenses that I work with on these cameras normally. So I'm really excited to try it out. This is a very impressive piece of glass. The feel of the zoom. The rings, the weight is just really heavy and fluid and coming from a bit of a film background when you work with really nice Panavision or Cook lenses and things like that, they don't breathe when you, when you zoom. You know, there's no, the, the focus doesn't shift and you don't have that movement in the side of the lens because they're designed for, for motion. And uh, this lens, when I set this, when I zoom the whole way out and I set to fix the focus and then you zoom the whole way in, It'll usually lose the focus. This lens is holding focus the whole way across, which means it's designed optically. I can tell the, the innards of this glass are cut above. This is really, really nice. We're gonna move from the uh, 40 to 80 to the uh, 150 mil zoom, 75 to 150, I believe, and go for the full zoom effect, see how much you know, linear compression we can get out of this car. Wow, this is incredibly sharp. Look at this little, this is the, the, there's a little light bulb on the side of the car which casts light on the number so that when they were racing at night, they would see what num number the car was. This histogram looks great. I've got the entire dynamic range of this entire scene, and I've still got a stop and a half on both ends of the, the histogram, just waiting for something else. So that looks great. I'm shooting with the 75 to 150, and I'm using it the whole way in at 150 to kind of maximize focal compression and get the lines of the car to really straighten out. It usually has the effect on cars of making it look a lot more serious because it's very round as you get closer and more, more and more wide angle. It deforms a lot of the car and a lot of the design elements sort of look out of context. But right now this thing is just looking fantastic. We haven't got a ton of great light left. You see the, the shadow is really falling into the car pretty quickly now. So I'm switching to the 40 to 80 to 
kind of do the rest of my shoot with this and I can move a lot faster. I won't be switching back and forth with lenses so much. This is phenomenal. This is a phenomenal lens. It's about quarter past seven. The shadow that I love about this, this drawing away from the car is almost gone. So we've got probably another 15 minutes to get our last bits in and that's gonna be it. <laughs> Can you close the door, Johnny? I'm gonna shoot the nine straight on. Well, we just got the last main shot and uh, we're just making some pickups and then I think they might actually boot it up. We get to hear this thing. To be given the opportunity to shoot that car is enough in and of itself, but to see it run and to hear it, and not only just to see it run and hear it, but for them to have modified it for our shoot, to return the exhaust to the original 60s Le Mans spec exhaust, which is just brutally loud. Very impressive to see this thing do what it was meant to do in the mechanical condition it was, you know, raced in. I think the shoot's gone very well. My crew really, you know, delivered the consistency that I needed to make sure that there weren't any concerns. This camera, this new 40 to 80 millimeter lens, did exactly the same thing. The images, I know, even before I look at them on the computer, I already know. They're incredible. This is a, an amazing, very sharp lens. And it's pretty hard to deny that this isn't one of the most beautiful, iconic racing machines of all time. So what a pleasure to work with this thing today. <laughs>